Was? Warum? Du Schwein! Ah, meine Aberführer. Ich bin dir gestellt. Die Russen sind vor... Hasta la vista, Hitler. He awoke in the future world of 2021, a terrifying dystopian apocalypse. He started his own detective agency there, and now this G-Man from the past is solving the crimes of the future, the old-fashioned way. Always keeping vigilant of the ever-present threat of international communism, he's the hero America needs. He is the Frozen 50s Man. Tonight's episode, Dick's Undercover. My name is Dick Jett, P.I., formerly of the FBI. Since collaring Conrad McGee for his own murder, I've been keeping busy, solving case after case after case, and making a tidy profit thanks to the miracle of modern capitalism. My transition to life in the future is going swimmingly. I have all sorts of new hobbies and plenty of new friends. I think I can say without fear of contradiction that my new private investigator business here in the future has been a resounding success. Dick, get up. Dick, come on, get up. Oh, God. Okay. What's the big idea here at all? Okay, we haven't had a case in months, and we really need to get back to work, but you seriously need to reevaluate a relationship with alcohol. I think we need to reevaluate our relationship. Why haven't we gone necking up on a lover's lane yet? I know you want. You're embarrassing yourself, okay? Let's just get you cleaned up. Ah, don't be so dramatic, doll. Just need some hair of the dog, that's all. Okay. Uh, uh, look at me. Look at me. I'm looking. I like you. Okay? I like you too. But this relationship is not working out anymore. You need to accept the very next case that comes through that door, or this is over. Is this the office of Dick Jett, private investigator? 
You bet your sweet child-bearing hips it is. And you are? Gina Barkerson, Super Police Division, FBI. So not just a bona fide beauty, but an agent of the Bureau. Gina, the things I do to you in the back seat of a Chevy, draped in the darkness of a drive-in movie theater, well, they're unspeakable. Dick Jett's the name. I used to work for J. Edgar for eight years back in the 50s. Yes, I, I know. Uh, and you are? This is Alexis Buttle, my partner. Uh, Alexis, Gina, Gina, Alexis. You just both met a strong, independent woman. <laughs> Why don't you have a seat? now is difficult, politically difficult. All of the evidence leads to a clear perp, but he is a powerful man. The White House has my team on a short leash. We can't get close enough to get anything actionable. So you need independent consultation. Correct. Mr. Jett, do you know anything about QAnon? Well, I don't know much about the movement, but I understand they like me very much, which I appreciate. Uh, you know, after I was cryogenically unfrozen, I became a bit of a celebrity in certain circles. And, uh, well, these QAnon uh, fellas, <laughs> they're a rowdy bunch, but they were big fans of mine. They sent me all sorts of fan mail. It was really touching, really quite touching, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to see. Well, you are a white man from the 1950s, so yeah. But the crux of the theory is that former President Trump is trying to save the world from an elite cabal of pedophiles and cannibals. Is that supposed to be a bad thing? Well, the theory is completely untrue. Which part? The uh, secret elite cabal? Oh no, the secret elite cabal, that's all completely true. And there are a bunch of pedophiles, don't get me wrong. But cannibals, please. The situation has gotten completely out of hand. Look at this. My God. Anyone who goes into the sacred halls of the United States Capitol, intent on doing violence to the duly elected representatives of this great nation, tramples upon the Constitution and, in my opinion, forfeits their right to call themselves American. Just like those goddamn Puerto Ricans back in 54, so-called activists. <laughs> we threw the book at them, I tell ya. The book. So you can't relate at all to a people revolting against an overseas colonial rule, being denied self-government, being subjected to taxation without representation. I mean, Redcoats, Patriots, the Mel Gibson movie. Alexander Hamilton. He'll be waiting in the wings for you. Okay. No, I can't relate to that at all. They should have been grateful to be part of the greatest empire the world has ever seen. I'm sorry, dear. P please go on. Anyway, I've been working on rounding up these QAnon idiots ever since January 6th. Uh, chewing through all of these workaday losers who got radicalized by YouTube. But what I started to notice was, and what the brass at the Bureau doesn't seem to want to admit, is that this whole QAnon thing it's not just a movement. It's a centralized organization. And it goes high up. How high? Summit of Everest high. This is Senator Clint Sleazy, Republican, Oklahoma, on his recent trip to Nepal. So this goes all the way to the top. It all points to Senator Sleazy's involvement in, in QAnon, in Stop the Steal, in January 6th, in Disney's acquisition of the entire Star Wars franchise, everything! I need you to go in there and get me some dirt on him. Something admissible. They've already taken a liking to you. You said so yourself. Get to know him. Learn things about him. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to show the whole world that men like him are not above the law. Oh. oh, fuck. Miss Buttle was right. 
It was time to get my act together. I needed to clean up and dry out. Now, Miss Buttle kept going on about how I was an addict and I needed help. I just smiled and nodded the way I always do when a woman is talking nonsense. Sure, I like a drink, but I ain't no lush. I can quit the sauce no problem. Just need some mouthwash to take the edge off and I'm right as rain. Looking good. Thanks, Doc. Appreciate you saying so. Ugh, my hair is so long, though. Longer than a dame's. Look like Kirk Douglas and the Vikings, for Christ's sake. Say, you know a good barber shop around here? A nice, clean, Polack place? You know, that's not the worst ethnic identifier I've heard you use, so... Good job. But no, there's no time. Agent Buckerson just called, and she's gonna need us right away. Ah, Agent Hot Lips, eh? Well, we can't be late for our first date. Hmm. Are you at all capable of having a platonic relationship with a female coworker? I don't know, doll. <laughs> Why don't you tell me? <laughs> You're disgusting. You like that I'm disgusting. There aren't enough disgusting men in your life. We can't. We're coworkers. Oh, I'm sorry. Is aggressively hitting on a female coworker in the workplace politically incorrect now? Yes. Let's go. Here's the situation. We just got intel that something big is going down at Senator Sleazy's hideout tonight. A chandelier? No, uh, a meeting. All the big players are going to be there. Brady, Rogers, Roethlisberger. No, all the big players of QAnon. And Mr. Jet, we managed to get you an invitation. So what's the plan? At precisely 8.14 p.m., you will arrive at Sleazy's hideout in a discreet vehicle that we will provide for you. You'll pull into the back and park the van, accompanied by an unnecessarily dramatic sound effect. At 8.15, you'll have a final exchange between you two that further establishes the sexual tension in your working relationship. Be careful. Dal, I'm always careful. At 8.16, Miss Buttle's mind will be a whirlwind of thoughts and emotions. Why? Why? Why am I attracted to him, she'll think to herself. He's a chauvinistic pig and I'm, I'm a dynamic progressive. We're from two different worlds. We have nothing in common. It would never work. Oh, but my mind and my body are telling me two different things and I don't even know what to do. Then at exactly 8.17 p.m., the words of your dear departed gram gram will creep into your already racing mind. Uh, Alexis, sweetie, you must always remember to tell the ones you love how you feel. Life is too short. But is it love? Is it really? No, no, it's not. But could it be? Could it? Given time and attention, could it not flourish like a blooming orchid on a shimmering summer morn? <gasps> but you have no time for such romantic musings. You've got a job to do. At exactly 8.17 and 34 seconds, you'll take your place at our mobile surveillance station where you'll be in constant contact with Mr. Jet throughout the entire operation. Dick. Dick, can you hear me? Loud and clear, Dal. At 8.18, on the dot, Mr. Jet will approach the building's back entrance, and then you'll be on your own. Stay your business. My name's Dick Jet. I believe I'm expected. Only true MAGA patriots are allowed in here. Well, that's me. I'm MAGA all the way. I hate those dastardly Democrats. If you want in on this meet, you gotta really hate them Democrats. Well, I do. All right, man, all right, just, just cool it, all right? Look, we're all friends in here. You're fucking crazy, man. I like it. I like it. Come on in. <laughs> I'm in. You say something? Oh, I was just uh, talking to my partner. She's out doing surveillance in the van. Oh, okay. I'm tripping this guy to go. Come on, sweetie. Well, well, well. If it isn't the famous Dick Jet. 
Senator Clint Sleazy at your service. How do you do? Pleased to meet you. So glad you could make it. Come, let me introduce you to some of our fellow patriots here. I see you already met Bill Racehate. Bill is a Phineas Priest of the Aryan Nation for 20 years, a Knight of the Ku Klux Klan for 10, and, as of last Friday, an active member of the Screen Actors Guild. Congratulations, Bill. Thanks, Senator. <laughs> Aryan Nations? You a goddamn Nazi, Bill? Oh! He said it! He said it! Oh, oh so everyone you disagree with is a Nazi? If I didn't know better, I'd say it sounds like you voted for that leftist radical Joseph Robinette Biden. Guys, a Catholic president? Please, I'd like to keep my First Amendment rights. Thank you very much. <laughs> that display of bigotry has allayed my suspicions for the moment. This here's Squeaky McVirgin. Squeaky's a leader in the incel community and tonight's official representative for 4chan. I don't know what any of that is, but uh, pleased to meet you. Oh, God, it feels like I'm shaking hands with a dead fish. Oh. Oops. Well, that's not much better. Fuck you! Fuck you! I will find out where you live, and I will swat you, Chud! I will rape you, you gay Jew! Cat! Cat! Are you quite well, young man? Cope, bro. Cope. That's enough, Squeaky. This here is Tony Edgelord. He is one of our finest patriotic comedians. He's leading the brave war against the woke mob that's trying to take down stand-up comedy. Tony here is a big sensation on BitChute, where his latest video has tens upon tens of views. Mr. Dick Jet, or should I call you, what was it, Frozen Guy? <laughs> frozen Guy? <laughs> Fucking Frozen, oh so cold guy? Well, let me ask you a question. When they thawed you out, do they put you in a fridge somewhere and just wait? Or do they drag you the way back of the room where that big old rusty oven was waiting for you? And they shoved you in there and closed that oven door and turned the heat all the way up until you burned like a little schoolgirl Jew in Germany in 19. 45. <laughs> Bottom bit. Bottom bit. Anyway, what, what about that wall we're going to build, right, guys? I mean, what are the Mexicans going to do? They ain't going to climb because they're Mexican midgets. <laughs> <laughs> Tony. <laughs> and Lord. I guess you're all wondering why I brought you here tonight. All that will be made abundantly clear. But as for now, make yourselves at home. Fix yourself another drink. And remember, where we go one, we go all! <laughs> Excuse me, Senator, I, uh, I, I need to uh, drain the snake, as it were. Uh, where's your washroom? Back and to the left. Be right back, gentlemen. Jiminy Christmas, doll. What the hell's the matter with these people? Relax, Dick. You're doing great and they don't suspect a thing. Yo, I'm pretty sure that guy's an undercover cop. What you got over there, Bill? Mmm. Extra large hot dog. I need to eat meat every 30 minutes to maintain my masculine power. But you should all do the same. Amen to that, brother. You know, back when I used to work at the comedy club, before I was banned for life, I have to listen to woke comedian after woke comedian, and they'd be all like, Oh, I love my soy. Oh, the soy burgers tasted so good in my soy mouth until my soy came over my stupid floppy soy tits. Hey, man. Soy tits ain't no fucking joke. If I ever ate soy accidentally or otherwise, I'd put a gun in my mouth on the fucking spot. On the fucking spot! No. I ate hot dogs, like a hunter-gatherer forefathers before me. All right, I'm heading back from the bathroom now. And did you have to leave your microphone on the whole time? So, Dick, Bill here has a very interesting theory about you. Oh yeah? What, what's that? Bill here says you're an undercover cop. Are you? I, uh, uh, Answer the question, 50s man. 
Are you a cop? Are you wearing a wire? Cop? Uh, 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 no, of course I'm not wearing a wire. How could you even ask me that? Alexis, what do I do? Just get out of there. Just get out of there right now. Search him. Mm-hmm. Come on. Hey, hey, no. Hey, hey, what's the big idea? Don't make this harder than it's got to be, Jet. Are you a cop or Listen. not? Just get out of there. I can't lose you. I can't lose you when you lost Graham Graham. Yes, I'm a cop. Or at least I used to be. I was an FBI agent back in the 1950s, when America was truly great. I wake up in the 21st century, and what do I find? Rome in the 4th century, a declining empire, a culture rotting from the inside out. And the source of the rot is obvious. It's one of the most pernicious ideologies ever known to humankind. Representative democracy. What? No, no, communism. Communism, yes, right, exactly. Under communism, a man has no individuality, no freedom. He merely serves at the pleasure of his party and his government. And fellas, fellas, ain't that just like signing a blank check and handing it over to a stranger? Amen. When I go onto my computer machine and I switch the channel to that program with the little blue bird, I see more hammers and sickles than a parade in Red Square. And you know what? It makes me mad. Yeah. yeah! I'm fucking mad too. I'm also scared, and I feel very, very alone! So that's why I'm here, gentlemen. To save America from itself. And it appears as though I'm in damn good company. Yeah! Nice save, Dick. Hey! Let's get fucked up! Yeah! Get some bruise! Give, give, me, give me one if you can. Here you go, brother. You've earned this. Welcome aboard. Thanks, Senator. I won't let you down. I know you won't. You may have fooled those other idiots with that little display of yours, but you'll find that I'm a harder nut to crack. Enjoy your evening. Poopy head! As Miss Buttle continued to tirelessly monitor communications from the van, Tony Edgelord provided the evening's entertainment, a raucous comedy show. <laughs> Women, am I right? Ah, uh, boys! <laughs> what, what, what are they even doing? Look how sexy I am. Look at my curves. Now give me rights. Now let me vote. Spot on. Spot on. <laughs> but but you know what's even funnier than women? Mexican women. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Mexican women, midgets. <laughs> oh, it's funny because it's true. My cover was intact, for now, but I still hadn't found any hard evidence of illegal activity. I'd need to be a little more proactive, and a comedy show was just the sort of cover I needed to slip away from the gathering and snoop around. They say only 50% of the population of America has got vaccinated. You know why? Because 50% of the women, damn it, 50% of the people here are women! Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here, Dick. I'm here. I'm here. I appear to be in some sort of back office now. Okay, look around. Do you see any potentially incriminating evidence? Got it. Hillary and Barack. Hillary and Donald, Hillary and Saddam. I don't know, doll, it's just a bunch of electronic mail. Keep looking. Anything from Sleazy? Here's something. Sleazy and Q. Well, well, well. If it isn't the detective, 
round. I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> A little help, please. Oh my god. Okay, Dick, hold on, I'll be right there. Come on, come on. Jeez, Mint City, how can I help you? Hi, may I please have a, a Beyond Burger with loaded fries with cashew cheese, please? Uh, yeah, we sure can do that for you. Pick up or delivery. Uh, pick up, please? Delta Romeo 2250 Niner, stand by for airstrike. Airstrike confirmed, Eagle 1. Birds are deployed. Lord help us all. He's got to live by his principles. Hey, come on. Dick, let's go. What the hell's going on back here? It's a female, Senator! You're right, Squeaky. It is a female. And a rat. Cease them. I thought Dick Jet was on our side. Trust the plan. I happen to know that everything is moving exactly how Q is foreseen. How do you figure? Because the storm is upon us. It begins tonight, here, with us. Each and every one of you was specifically selected to be here and witness. It's time for tonight's main event, our Lexington and Concord. Tonight, we take back America. Tonight, Q will reveal himself for the first time. Oh my god, oh, we're gonna be oh killed! Oh my god, I'm gonna go, go. My fellow Americans, I am pleased to present the man, the myth, the legend, Q! <laughs> my lord, I have 
den versen det är. There will be a place for you in the world to come. Oberfuhrer Klaus. I should have known you were the one behind this from the very beginning. But why? Why have you done this? For the same reason I do anything. To sow disorder. To maximize chaos. To read the multiverse in unconventional fire. And rule over the ashes as high king of outer darkness. Which is perfectly in line with the modern Republican platform. Indeed. And before we begin our putsch, a personal matter. This one, the one you call Dick Jet. He has great interest to me, and he is crucial to my research. Take him forth this to my laboratory. Absolutely, my lord. But what about the girl? A liability. Kill her. Of course. You heard, Q. Go ahead, kill her. What are you doing? Don't just stand there. Kill her. <laughs> a, a Nazi? Uh, are you serious, bro? I don't believe in free speech. Nazis believe in free speech less than that. Feminist Yeah. What? Godwin's law much cuck? What the hell are you two talking about? This is what it's all been about. Power. Domination. Fancy red and black uniforms. This is what the fight has all been for. So, are you going to stand with us? Or are you just going to get in our fucking way? Fuck this. Give me that tape. What are you gonna do with it? Where we go one, we go all. No. No, you're ruining it! You're ruining the whole thing! You know what else? I've been thinking 17 hours a day on hate speech forums. Maybe bad for my mental health. I'm gonna get out a little bit. Get to know myself. Good idea. You disappoint me, Senator. Come on, Klaus. Stick around. Join the party. I would love to, Herr Jet, but sadly, I am needed in another dimension. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> yep. This man is definitely dead. Well, time to harvest the organs and sell them to Chinese billionaires. Wow, we have all the evidence we need right here in these emails. I only wish Sleazy would have lived to have faced real justice. How did he die again? He was shot in the face by my nemesis, a demonic Nazi with a mysterious ability for interdimensional travel. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. That should all check out in my briefing with the DOJ. Well, you two, excellent work. Your payment, as promised. What do you think, high quality stuff? Looks like it smells good. Mm. All right, we have a body. Now time for the cover-up. We're going to tell the media that Senator Sleazy was honorably killed in a ambush by gender-fluid MS-13 illegals in the streets of Portland. <laughs> Damn, I'm good. He may have been trying to destroy democracy, but he was a member of the upper class, and we have a duty to honor his memory. You're goddamn right we do. Now, Agent Buckerson, I think you owe me a hot date. Uh, no, I don't. However, Miss Buttle, I was just wondering if, uh, maybe sometime this coming week, if you would like to go out for a drink? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Do you want my number? I work for the FBI. I already have your number. That was creepy, okay. Um, all right, well, Miss Buttle, uh, Mr. Jet. You know, doll, I've never been more appallingly aroused in my entire life. The future is a filthy place, but I think I like it. Well, well, another case solved. But it's left me with more questions than answers. Like, what does Klaus really want? What part do I have to play in all this? And will the industry insiders who I know are watching finally reach out to us and commission this as a full series? I just don't know. I guess we'll have to see in the next episode. I reckon so. See you later, doll. Uh, Dick, wait. Um, you forgot your wallet. 
Dick, wait. I'll see you on Monday. See you Monday. Oh, this. Office is closed, all right. Come back tomorrow. I've got an appointment up in my office with a bottle of Listerine that I do not intend to miss. Hey, asshole. You're coming with us. Ah, nuts. Antifa.